So there's an apparent sense of being separate. But it's artificial. It can fall away. Um, um, the, the, the paradox of what we're talking about here is that actually it doesn't even fall away because it's not real anyway. So we're really exposing something that isn't real. And, and so that it, in the end it's, it's recognised that there's no such thing as a seeker. There's no such thing as liberation. <laughs> there is only balance. So it's not, it doesn't need any conditions for it to happen. It happens despite me, not because of me. Despite anything. Just the dropping away of the idea that there is a me for which something has to happen. Pain happens. It's difficult to be in boundlessness. In, well, you, no, no, it's not difficult. It's impossible to be in boundlessness because there is nothing that can be in boundlessness. <laughs> <laughs> if there is something that thinks it's being in boundlessness, it's separate from boundlessness. Me can't. There isn't anything that's in boundlessness. It's completely free energy. The whole, uh, the whole problem for per the person or the seeker is that they think they're going to one day be in boundlessness. When that whole energy of wanting to be in boundlessness dies, all that's left is boundlessness. And pain is just pain. Pain is pain. Pleasure is pleasure. Sound is sound. Sound, sound is a sound. All there is is what is. And nothing has any significance. There isn't one thing that's more significant than another. There isn't anything that's significant. 